Roy Henry Vickers and Robert Lucky Budd are the co-authors of a new children's book called Orca Chief. This is the third in a series of Northwest Coast legends, and their previous collaborations, Raven Brings the Light and Cloudwalker, are national bestsellers. This month, the two embarked on a province-wide tour to promote the book. It began with uh, my living up north in Hazleton and looking for tapes. There was a series called uh, Written in Oral History of BC, and there was a particular series called uh, Paddle Wheels on the Frontier. And I was wanting people there to learn or listen to the old stories of the Skeena River. And so in looking for the recordings that I used to listen to when I was a young man, uh, I finally was led to Robert Budd and then got to know him as Lucky. And uh, he wanted to do my biography because he's had I don't an, know why. He's had an interesting life. He's amazing. And so we hit it off and we started working on Roy's biography. And while we were starting to work on Roy's biography, I recorded, a, I recorded a series of his storytelling events at his gallery in Tofino and instantly got goosebumps. There's books here, there's books here. And uh, that started us on this journey of releasing this book, uh, these books of Northwest Coast legends. Orca Chief. The story was told to me when I was 28 years old. I'd just come out of a, an art school in Northern BC. I went back to my village and I've always been interested in old stories, that's how we got together. And this story came from this old man in my village. And he knew of my work as an artist and a speaker. And so he wanted me to have this story in my heart. So he started telling me the story and uh, he told me once and it's been with me ever since. And I've told the story of Orca Chief and how these men from Kitkatla went to the food gathering grounds and they made some mistakes and they were captured by orcas and taken down to the orca chief's home under the ocean. They made apologies for how they were behaving and they were taught everything under the sea. And so when they came back to the village, they had knowledge that the Kit Catlas never had before. And the way the story is told is that's how we know how the tides work what good food there is in the ocean, when the moons are that the salmon come, which moon that the salmons come, and how we're also uh, to respect the ocean and um, love it and care for it like it's ours and preserve everything. So take what we need and leave things for future generations. It's very timely right now, this story. And there's this underlying message of mentoring with kindness and with compassion and respect. And it's, it's a beautiful story. It really resonates with, uh, with our mission to help protect the oceans right now. The other beautiful thing about it is I've always told the story. So it's never been in a book. And when I started, we started writing the book together, Lucky would say, oh, you know the part about when the when the orca chief is all upset because the anchor landed on his roof, can you do a drawing of what the anchor looked like landing on his roof? And so the images have always been in my mind as a storyteller, because that's how I'm reminded of the story. As he asked the questions, these images just come to life, like sometimes eight or nine in two weeks. One series that we did, he created nine drawings, nine images for In Raven Brings the Light in 14 days. And all 18 images for this book were created in a series of five weeks, just like inspiration, inspiration, boom, 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 boom. Magic. And it just, it just comes together once we and start eight, working together. 18 images for me is a year and a half of fine art prints for my gallery in Tofino. That's so right. A year and a half's work in five weeks. It's an incredible process to be a part of, really. It's an honor. Writing the story about the origin of the rivers and, and listening to what's happening in the media, you just realize that these stories are more important today than they've ever been in thousands of years of telling. We're living at a time right now where we have the power as human beings to destroy this, this world. We are both really committed to the the notion that storytelling 
brings with it emotions and brings through a whole series of things that affect people. It has the ability to connect with people in a way that they can feel in their heart. And facts are embedded in the narrative. So if kids or if people can have an image and a story connected to a place, then they're going to be a lot more dedicated to understanding it and wanting to help or wanting to protect it rather than it just being a thing. And, and what's beautiful about that is that the stories prior to European contact here all of the nations passed on knowledge through stories and songs and dances. And so the stories in Orca Chief this month here in Vancouver will touch families' hearts and, and let them see how we can so easily damage the oceans. We have to stop what we're doing and take another look, respect the world around us.